look at this department as a whole, not just division by division. So yes, the city council did cut one point eight million dollars from the division, and they named the division. And that's the long and short of it. Well, to get one point eight million out of the position when ninety five percent of the budget for that division is uh, salaries and benefits, the only thing you can cut is the human factor. So the human factor would result in about 33 uh, less positions. And do you worry about that impacting public safety at all? Yes, that's definitely, definitely worried about it. Is there anything you'd like to add? Well, I, I mean, I'd like to, add, I'd like to say that uh, I wish that uh, Mr. Zaney would have sat down with me before he came out here to the public and uh, started making inaccurate statements. That would have been the appropriate thing to do. Uh, he did not do that. Uh, the appropriations and the budget cuts, uh, I explained to his division head, his chief, so he understood them. And I'm looking at these followers and just follow a person that he can talk about and say, I'm a little disappointed in that. Well, uh, I'm, I'm sure the mayor's office and city council are all talking about budget cuts. So uh, at this point, I haven't had anything change. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I stepped in late. Uh, can you say that the city council specifically specified that EMS be part of those cuts? Why are they saying otherwise? I, I have no clue. Um, but let me just show you a document. This is from... Ivan Corey, who is the director of uh, or the their, uh, and the food financial for, for city council. And if you look at this document, you can see it specifically, they said appropriation decrease $1.8 million. This is not anything I created. This is a document from city council. And there's no other cuts to be made other than uh, vital personnel? Well, again, as I explained, city council, I mean, the uh, uh, EMS division's budget is 95% salary and benefits. To get $1.8 million, you got to, the only thing you can cut is the human factor. And what does that do to the human factor for the citizens? Well, that, that's going to, that has the potential to re, uh, eliminate 33 positions. Which, uh, you probably need more EMS personnel in the city as opposed to less. Is there any uh, way that you can uh, fight this or, or try to change the way that they want the cuts being made? Well, I've been to council twice, uh, public budget hearing, and I personally went back for their executive session to explain uh, what these cuts would do, any cuts to the fire department. And at this point, as the division head, that's as much as I can do in regards to uh, fighting and we reinstate the money. I understand. But I've also heard things said like, uh, don't expect EMS if you come into the city and something happens to you at this point. Well, no matter what we have, we're going to attempt to render the best service that we can. So uh, that is uh, Mr. Zaney rhetoric uh, to stir up emotions. So, uh, I mean, it's going to have more service. I can't tell you that it wouldn't. But we're going to do and the best we can. And men and women of the Detroit Fire Department uh, always give the best they can give. So I expect that to continue to happen. Of course this concerns you. Yes, it does. I'm the, I'm the director of this. I'm the head of this department. So yes, it concerns me. And I'm a citizen of the city. So it definitely concerns me. But you're going to keep pushing to get this uh, somehow to do the best you can with what they're allowing you to have. Yes, we're going to work with what, what we have, no matter what that is. And when's your next trip to the council? Uh, I don't have one. Fine. Very good. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mr. Mack, let me ask you this. There's been allegations about close to a million dollars spent renovating the floor to a firehouse that does not exist. I'm sure you've heard this. What have you got to say about that? I don't, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know what you're, t what you're speaking of. And I'd have to see some documents, or you have to show me something before I can respond to that. Okay? All right, thank you. All right.